Uh, first up from Emily, how do you feel about many YouTube family vlog channels with their religious undertones? Mm. How do I feel about family vlog channels with their religious undertones? Kind of annoying. Um, but you know, honestly, I don't even really care that much about religious people. It does not matter to me if, if you want to be religious. My, the hill I want to die on isn't about, isn't like being religious. It's about being an extremist. Like if you believe that Noah's Ark is a real literal story, that's an issue for me. I want to see if we can move you closer to uh, reality, basically. Um, so ultimately, I would like to see fewer kind of BS religious undertones to things for the most part, but I'm not going to complain as long as you're not an extremist. Okay, go. Uh, do you have another one? Uh, yeah, we got lots more. Awesome. Uh, PJ was asking, what languages do you know and what languages would you like to learn? Interesting question. Um, I don't actually know any foreign spoken languages. Uh, I, I know enough Spanish that I can kind of a little bit get by for the most part. I don't know. Not really. Just a little bit. Um, I took French in high school, but it's really nothing to speak of. Uh, let's see here. Other than that, I, I know sign language. I learned that from my congregation, like from my Jehovah's Witness congregation. Um, I used to sit down in like, they used to have these big conventions, like 3,000 to 10,000 people, depending on the area and, and the time of year and things. And they would have the the floor like down on the floor level as opposed to in the bleachers, they would have a handicapped section. And a lot of the time, deaf people would sit down there on the floor section and they'd have, um, they would have sign language interpreters basically signing to the deaf people, signing the entire convention to them. Now, as a Jehovah's Witness, you're kind of obligated to learn a new language. That's the goal. They, they want you to learn new languages so that you can preach to other people, pretty much. Especially if you're in an area that uses other languages. Like, I lived in Atlanta, Georgia for a little while, and there was a, a large number of Spanish-speaking people there. And so there were lots of Spanish congregations of Jehovah's Witnesses. So there were a lot of people, a lot of Jehovah's Witnesses learning Spanish. Uh, but yeah, I, mostly in my area in West Virginia, there weren't really any other languages. It's almost entirely English. So people would pretty much speak. Uh, so they would all learn sign language. And, and I did learn sign language for that reason. So uh, do you have one more? Yeah. Yeah, we got one more. Uh, this one was from Omega. How long did it take you before you started wishing people happy holidays once you got out of the JWs? Oh, give me a second. I'm, I'm actually... Something just beeped at me. Okay, sorry. How long was it uh, before I started wishing people happy holidays? I don't remember exactly how long it was before I started saying happy holidays, but I'll tell you this. I refused to go out... Like, for Halloween, I refused to go out trick-or-treating with Kylie for, like, a long time because I felt like it was just a bad holiday, you know? And so her mom would take her every year, and they would tell me I couldn't eat any of the candy unless I came with them. Well, one year, I finally, I think it was probably three years in, so let's see, I was 18 my first year, I think, yeah. I was 18 my first year, 19 my second year, 20 my third year. I think maybe my third year, maybe when I was like 20 years. No, well, let's see. Kylie was born when, you know what? Uh, I may have been like 23 before it finally happened, before I finally went trick-or-treating with Kylie. Uh, it was just, it, it felt wrong to do. Like, even after I'd kind of given up on my beliefs mostly, 
it still felt wrong to do for a long time. And now it's my favorite holiday. I just love Halloween. It's like just the greatest. But anyway, do you have one more? I'll take probably just one more. Sure. Uh, Coke Boy was asking who you mained in Smash. I play Link a lot. Uh, Link is pretty good, and he's in basically he's in every single Smash, so it's perfect. But in the newest one, I've been playing Cloud, so I I vary between them. Either one works. Uh, I love Final Fantasy VII. It's just a fantastic game, and I that, that it is the reason why I got Smash Ultimate was because Cloud was in it. Well, it's the reason why I got it the very first day it came out. Uh, it was because Cloud was in it, and I'm such a huge fan of Final Fantasy VII. So their marketing tactics worked in that case. But, yeah, that's who I play. It's pretty cool. It's a pretty cool game. Really big fan of that game. 